Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to make some soft dinner rolls and I'm going to do these in my muffin tin and my jumbo muffin tin. So I'm only going to do a small batch which will make nine small dinner rolls in the muffin tin or it will make three small ones in the muffin tin and three jumbo ones in uh, the jumbo muffin tin. And you can easily double the recipe if you want more and you don't need to use a muffin tin you can divide the dough up and form it into balls and allow it to rise and bake them just on parchment paper in, on a baking tray if you want to so i go straight onto the ingredients and for this i have 275 grams which is one and two thirds cups plus two tablespoons of bread flour that's based on scooping packed flour into a 250 milliliter cup. I have 135 milliliters, half a cup plus one tablespoon of water, and the water is at 40 degrees Celsius, which is 104 Fahrenheit. I have uh, four grams, one teaspoon or half a packet of instant yeast, between three and a half and four grams. I have uh, 19 grams of sugar which is one and a half tablespoons I have 12 grams half a tablespoon or one and a half teaspoons of uh, flavorless oil 3 grams half a teaspoon of salt and here I have uh, 26 grams which is half an egg a medium egg so I've beaten the medium egg and taken half of it that would be large in the USA so that's all the ingredients I need. And I'm going to start off by putting about a teaspoon of the sugar into my water and I'm going to put my yeast in as well. And I'm just going to give that a quick stir like that and then I'm going to leave it for five, uh, five to ten minutes so that the yeast activates and it should start to uh, become foamy and frothy on the top. So my yeast mixture with the water has now frothed up. So I'm going to put that into a bowl and I'm going to scrape down the jug just to get any residue out. Like that. And then I'm going to add in the oil and the sugar and the egg. And I'm going to just whisk that together to get those ingredients combined. That's good. Then I'm going to add the salt as well and most of the flour. I'm going to hold a little bit of the flour back, maybe about a quarter of a cup. I'm sure I'll need it but I'll hold it back for the time being and I'm going to simply mix this until it starts to clump together and it becomes a shaggy dough and I'll add the remaining flour as I need it if I need all of it. And that quickly mixes together but I want to continue doing that just for a minute or two and I'll add some more of the flour holding back a little bit more And now that that's all clumping, I'm going to use my hand just to work that for about a minute into a nice shaggy dough that I can then allow to proof.
So I've mixed that and it's still slightly tacky. I have used the remainder of my flour. Um, you just want it slightly tacky so you don't want to use all the flour because um, flour absorbs moisture at different levels depending on the humidity and things like that. So get it to this sort of stage where it's, it's tacky like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply press that down and I'm going to leave it in that bowl and cover it with plastic wrap and I'm going to leave it until it has doubled in size in a warm place and that might take an hour, it might take an hour and a half, it depends on the temperature uh, that you leave it at. So once it has doubled in size I will come back and we'll go on and, and we'll shape our uh, bread rolls or buns and proof them ready for baking. It's been an hour and my dough has doubled in size so I'm going to um, turn that out onto a floured surface And I'm going to put some flour on the top as well. And I'm going to knead that until um, I can stretch it using the window pane test and it doesn't break. And that will take probably about five minutes. I've kneaded that for six minutes and I'm just going to cut the piece off, roll it into a ball between my hand and then I'm going to stretch it. And as you can see that's stretching nice and thinly and it will tear eventually but if I can stretch it so that I can almost see through it, that's good enough like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this into pieces of 50 grams each. So that will actually be nine pieces. And with them divided into nine pieces, just going to roll them into a ball at the moment and I have the nine pieces rolled. Now if you just wanted to make nine small dinner rolls like that you can leave those to proof on a, a parchment lined baking tray and they will be fine like that but I'm going to do mine in a, a muffin tin which I have uh, greased I shouldn't I don't really need to have greased it but I've greased it anyway and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each of three of the pieces in half like that and I'm going to form each of the halves into a ball and then I'm going to put them into the tin side by side like that 
and I'm going to uh, cover them with uh, some greased parts, uh, greased plastic wrap. So that's three of them uh, divided in two, shaped into balls and put into the muffin pan. And then for the jumbo muffin pan, I'm simply going to take two balls and place them in like that. So I've got six balls, two in each hole like that, and I'm going to uh, cover both pans with some uh, greased plastic wrap. And I'm going to leave them to proof until they've risen above the top of the pans. And when I press the top of the dough, it makes a dent which slowly uh, springs back. It does, if it springs back quickly, they're not ready. But if it slowly springs back and maybe leaves just a slight dent in the, the dough, then they are ready. And at that stage, I will have preheated my oven to 200 Celsius. That's 400 Fahrenheit. And these will be ready to bake. But I'll come back and show you them before I put them in the oven. My dough has now risen up above the top of each of the muffin cups. And I, if I press them, uh, it springs back slowly. It puts a dent in, springs back slowly. Um, so that's good enough. So I'm going to put them into my preheated oven and I'm going to bake them for 12 to 15 minutes. I, I will test them with my uh, thermometer and the internal temperature should be at least 88 Celsius, which is 198 Fahrenheit. And if it is, I'll take them out, transfer them to a wire rack and I'm simply going to brush a little bit of butter over the top of each one to keep the top crust soft. And then when they've cooled down, I'll come back and show you the results. I baked my buns or rolls for 12 minutes and I tested the temperature and it was above 88 Celsius. In fact, it was about 93, so I knew they were baked through. So I took them out and uh, sort of uh, wiped some butter over the top of them. So this is what they look like. So I ought to say that if you wanted to brush some egg over the top uh, before baking, and put some sesame or poppy seeds or, or something like that on the top, that would work fine. These are perfect buns, I think, to have with dinner or with a, a bowl of soup or something. So I'll just break this one open and we'll have a look inside. So it's baked very, very nicely, as you can see. And I'm just going to put a little bit of my um, spread on and I'll have a taste of it. Mm. It's a very, very good little roll. Perfect for um, dipping in my soup at lunchtime, I'm sure. And very easy to make actually. I know it takes a bit of time because you have to leave time for the proofing. And I didn't mention a time for uh, the second proof once they were in the muffin tin because that depends uh, greatly on the temperature. But in fact uh, mine uh, took about an hour and a quarter to get up to the right height and the right level of proof. So that's going to be it for this recipe. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, please give me the thumbs up below 
and click to subscribe to my YouTube channel. In the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an I that you can click on and that will take you to a link for this recipe and I'll put a link below the video as well and I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.